Usually, the foreground in a painting is the most important because that's the central message of the artist, and it is usually our takeaway image. Who thinks of the characters in the background spolarium? Some of us may not have noticed them because our eyes are so focused in the foreground. But then sometimes the background is such a scene stealer that we forget the foreground. What's the first thing that you see or remember when you close your eyes upon seeing a more solid work? The Mayan volcano. And has anybody ever taken notice of the steeple in the village here? So much so that if we isolate them from the background, would we recognize them from Van Gogh's work? But then, of course, there are cases when both the background and the foreground are so enigmatic that we can isolate them from each other and still recognize them, like in this case. And this is what we have with Manuel Rodriguez Calesa. The artist is considered the father of Philippine printmaking, by the way. When I first saw this painting hanging on a wall of a souvenir shop, I was drawn to the Calesa, but it was the background that made me ask for the clerk to bring it down for a closer look. The background looks like a paved road painted in happy yellow and dirty gray. You could almost feel its roughness by just looking at it. But even if it's rough and dirty, it looks elegant, just like the Calesa in the foreground. The Cuchero looks professional with his costume that one can imagine him with one leg over his other knee while waiting for a pasajero, as we often see Cucheros do. The horse looks even more beautiful than the ones we see in Chinatown. It is appreciated here by the Cuchero. It is not just a source of income for the owner. It is regarded as a family member worthy of love and care. And you can see that this is a horse that loves his owner back with the way his neck is holding his head up high. The Cuchero is looking to his right as if spotting an interested passenger whom we cannot see. But what my eyes do see is a passenger with an anachronistic Nazi salute, which I'm sure the artist did not intend, as it's supposed to be the carriage itself with a lamp on the side. The carriage has only one wheel, but it doesn't deter our horse from pulling it so effortlessly. Rodriguez's Calesa won't work without both the background and the foreground. It will lose its drama if the background is just plain yellow or gray, or the Calesa looks real. Too bad it's not as famous as the Starry Night or the Scream. If it were, I can imagine how many tributes and merchandise would be spun off from the background and the Calesa. But then again, that would bring too much commercialization to a piece of true art. Keeping art pure is essential. Art is essential. 